my name is Bonnie. I'm a master keeper here at Big Cat Rescue. And today I'm going to go over a little bit about our cleaning process and what we do. We clean the cats every day, 365 days a year, including holidays and weekends. It's very important that we are very safe when we do clean them. Um, we're dealing with some very dangerous cats. We can't go inside the enclosures when we do that. So we have to clean from the outside. I want to go over a little bit about what we use. So this big long pole that we're that I'm holding here is about eight feet tall and it has a hook at the end. And what we do is we reach in and we're able to pull out any used enrichment, um, feces, things like that, um, that we need to get out of the cage. But by being safe, we never reach our hands inside of the cages. Um, here I've got my cleaning bucket. Um, it's just, we use like a tidy cat's bucket, reusable, um, and we have uh, our little bag we put our trash in. Um, I've got my scrubby brush that I use to scrub out bulls, clean out off of their little feeding blocks. We use barbecue tongs to pull out feces so that we never have to reach our hands in. Um, we have bleach and water in here so that we can scrub and clean off any um, food so we don't have bugs and ants and things like that collecting. Um, and so that's pretty much the process. We do. Uh, we walk around the entire enclosure. Um, most of our enclosures are a bubble or circle shaped in nature. So we're able to just kind of do a whole walk around, just check and make sure that everything is safe, there's no dangerous plants, that there's no... Um, compromise in the enclosure, make sure the cats are doing okay. Um, so it's kind of a whole process that we do along with pulling out the feces. When we're cleaning and we get to their lockout area, um, for safety reasons, we are going to close this guillotine door system. We lock out all of our medium and large cats. In order to close it down, we just unclip it, lower the door down, and now we can safely reach our hands in, clean the lockout area, the feeding block, and the water bowl. And then when we're done, we can open it back up and then they can come.